GitHub is the place where you can find tons of tools for a specific task. No matter if you are a hacker, a penetration tester, or even a developer, you may find codes and solutions to your problems over there. You can just make a search on GitHub and get a whole list of tools. When it comes to hacking, tools are the most crucial thing. We need tools to conduct specific tasks while doing penetration testing or ethical hacking. When you install a security-based Linux operating system, it comes pre-installed with a lot of tools like Nmap, Metasploit, and many others, but those are not enough. So, in this in this video, I am going to tell you about the 10 most popular hacking scripts that you can find on GitHub and use easily in Kali Linux. But before that, remember that this video is only for educational purposes. These tools can also be used for unethical purposes by wrongdoers. If you use these kinds of stuff for malicious purposes, you are going to get in trouble, so don't try this on someone without their permission. You can send me instead. Instagram is given in the description. Alright, so our first script or tool or whatever you say is Visha. As you can judge from its name, it is a popular tool used for at the time of recording this video, this tool has almost 12,000 stars on GitHub. Based on its popularity, I plan to install it on my Kali Linux to see how it looks and how it works. Well, you won't see the installation process of this or any other tool here because it is completely against the YouTube community guidelines. And also, I don't want you guys to become script kiddies. Alright, so I have installed this tool on my Kali Linux virtual machine and this is how it looks. It has a big Zephisha logo on the very top and after that, a whole list of social media platforms which includes Facebook. Instagram, TikTok, and many more. A person can easily select the platform here and make a malicious link. He can then send that link to the person he wants to social engineer and get their credentials. Just imagine if someone with a bad mind uses it for unethical purposes. What if I tell you that you can get the almost accurate location of anyone just by sending them a link? Well, that is possible. Isn't it scary? So, here comes our second tool, which is Seeker. Seeker is another script that can be found on GitHub. I have got this installed on my Kali Linux too, and let's see how it works. So, when we run this in our terminal, we can see a logo at the top and then a list of templates that we can use to social engineer our target. It also includes a WhatsApp group template. Once you are done selecting your template, it will run a server on your local host. You can't directly use this tool over the internet, but you can do some tunneling using ngrok or OpenVPN to make it work over the internet. However, it was working perfectly fine on my local host. It is not very accurate, but still, it's much better than nothing. I am the biggest hacker in the world. I can take pictures from your phone camera and send them to me. This was a stupid stupid joke. But it is not a big hacker's thing. It can just be achieved with a simple script that you can find on GitHub. The name of this tool or script is Camfish. Camfish is another social engineering tool that you can easily find on GitHub and is used to capture images from a camera. It works exactly the same as the previous tools. We can generate a link and share it with the person. When the person opens the link, the site will ask the user for camera permissions and once they allow it, the site will continue taking pictures from their camera and start sending them to the hacker. This script is solely made for educational purposes. But what if someone uses it to target innocent people? So please don't open any links sent by just anyone. Next, I have a Wi-Fi hacking script that gained a lot of popularity online. So the name of this tool is Angry Oxide. Angry Oxide is a tool that is written in Rust language and is super fast. It is used to capture Wi-Fi handshakes. In simple words, it's used to hack Wi-Fi networks. You can capture handshake files of the networks around you using this tool, and then you can use a word list to crack the hashes inside the handshake and and get the plain text password. As mentioned earlier, this tool is written in Rust which makes it super fast and efficient. It uses the deauthentication method to conduct Wi-Fi attacks and capture the handshake. It is available on GitHub and you can give it a shot if you want, but you may require an external Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode. Fluxion is another Wi-Fi hacking script you can find on GitHub. It is most famous for conducting evil twin attacks. An evil twin attack is one in which we create a fake Wi-Fi network with the same name as our target and deauthenticate all the clients from the original network. This causes them to connect to the fake Wi-Fi network where they enter their credentials and get fished in this way. It is just a simple script mainly for automating things. I would suggest you not to rely on these tools and instead learn how to create these kinds of scripts yourself or learn how to perform these kinds of attacks manually. But still, it is a very good script if you just want to showcase to people how Wi-Fi hacking works and how you can secure your networks. If you already have some knowledge about hacking, you may know what Metasploit is. Metasploit is a tool mainly used by penetration testers and ethical hackers to exploit vulnerabilities in systems and compromise them. However, the payloads we create using it are easily detected by antivirus software. So as a solution to this problem, we have our next 
next tool, the Fat Rat. The Fat Rat is used to create backdoors and payloads, but in a way that they evade antiviruses. These kinds of tools are very dangerous, so keep them out of the hands of script kiddies as they can use tools like this to cause much harm to anyone. The Fat Rat is on my list because it was very popular at its time, but now the systems are much more secure. The project is around nine years old and the last commit was made three years ago, but it is still very dangerous and if some script kitty learns to use it properly, they could cause some serious problems. Imagine you are cracking a handshake file, and you need a word list more specific to your target. In such cases, you can use CUP. This CUP has double P, but still it is CUP. CUP stands for Common User Password Profiler. It is used to create custom word lists based on characteristics and things you know about your target. When you start CUP in interactive mode, it will ask you some questions about your target, like their name, nickname, age, pet name, etc. Utilizing this information, it will generate a word list for you that can help you guess the password more efficiently. It is an old project but still used by many people. In fact, I use it myself just to play around. If you have ever watched Mr. Robot, you may know F Society and the F Society tool used by hackers in the series. But what if I told you that we have a real-life F Society tool on GitHub? You wouldn't believe me, right? But it's true. On GitHub, you can find the F Society tool. This tool doesn't do much except make you a perfect script kitty because it automates other tools. Can you imagine using one tool to run other tools? Horrific, but it's real. So here here is your F-Society tool, which you can see on your screen. You have a long list of menus that include information gathering, password attacks, and more. You can just enter the number for a specific category and use the tools inside. It can be useful for many of you, but for me it's nothing more than just a waste of time. It has been seven minutes since you started watching this video, and you still haven't subscribed to the channel. Smash the subscribe button with your slipper before we move forward. Do it, I'm waiting. So our next tool is CyberChef. CyberChef is one of my favorite tools which I use daily. Basically, it is used to decode encoded text. You can run it locally on your computer, and you can also run it online. It is used for both decoding and encoding text. You can also crack some hashes with it. It is mostly used while playing capture the flag competitions and solving rooms. I highly recommend you give it a shot and learn how encoding and decoding work. So, last but not least, we have the Huami tool. The Huami tool is another one of my personal favorite tools. Actually, this tool is used to provide you with anonymity. You can surf the internet while being anonymous and keeping your privacy. It uses Tor to change your IP address, and you can also change your MAC address with this tool. I actually have a video on this topic. You can see it by clicking the I button above or you may find it in the description. So this was a brief video on 10 popular scripts that you can find on GitHub. Some of them were really cool, but some were just a waste of time. If you're still a beginner in these hacking things, I recommend you not to run after these kinds of scripts. Instead, do some deep learning and learn how you can write these kinds of things by yourself. Hacking is not all about just learning few tools or scripts. You may know how to solve your problems by yourself. If someone asked me how to learn hacking, I answer them to learn problem solving first. You can learn anything you want, but you should have patience and dedication. So, this was all for now. I hope you will like the video.